Hey, it's Michael, and today I am in Hamilton, Ontario, in a city known for its scientific innovation. There are literally labs all over the city with people working to make the world a better place. And that's what we are gonna do right here. This playground needs a little research and development. As you can see, it's a bit plain and it's not a lot of fun. But Giver is here to change that. We have just three days to work with these kids to mix together their great ideas and create the perfect playground. So start your timers. Giver's formulating a playground. Six kids. Three days. One mission. To build a playground with their community. Time to meet our Giver team. My name is Shaylon and I'm seven years old. My name is Chelsea and I am eight years old. My name is Mason and I'm seven. Hi, my name is Kim and I'm 13 years old. My name is Tremel and I'm 12. My name is Sydney and I'm 13. This playground was really boring. There's only two things in it. The playground was very bare. Graffiti, and all the little kids don't need to look up to that. Not the nicest looking park. At the top of day one, we met Michael. OK, so why do you guys think a science theme is such a good idea for the playground? Um, I think it'd be good because people would learn some when they come to the park. Science is fun, and it's also educational. I like stu stuff that blows up. I like exploding things, and science makes stuff explode. You like stuff that blows up. <laughs> It would just be more fun with rocket ships and So you stuff. can make it like stand out, make it different. Yeah. There's other normal playgrounds, but this is like the only science playground. We came up with a whole bunch of ideas. There's a teeter-totter. Okay, that's shaped like a rocket ship? Yeah. Okay. Teeter-totter is my idea. And then that's just like you go in there and it's like an art gallery of the play. An art gallery? I'd love to have an art gallery because I love art. Rocket ships. Rock climbing wall. Are those things you could put like asteroids right there? We can move the wood we heal yeah. and put the wood chips over here, and then we can make the pulp bigger. And we wanted a soft surface. Here's the Giver team's plan for their new science park. Shaylon and Kim want a teeter totter shaped like a rocket ship. Sydney wants an art gallery. Chelsea and Trimel want an asteroid rock climbing wall. Mason wants to make the park bigger and put soft tiles on the ground. You guys have some great ideas, but this is a lot of work to get done in three days. You think we can get it all done in three yeah. days? Yeah! Let's yeah. try to get started then? Yeah. All right, then we'll let's yeah. Let's go! Then we met Scott and we marked out the playground. We had to mark out the playground so we knew where we were going to build. Do you want to run the spray paint for me? There you go. And that's where the teeter totter is going to go. I use the spray paint. It's like following a leader. Then we got the pieces and placed them all where they belong. OK, guys, let's go get the parts. Everyone can take a part. <laughs> Hang on to that for a second, Jason. Good stuff. I helped Michael bring in the bobcat to dig a hole. Yeah. OK, now stop. There you go. There he goes. Then I dug holes for the teeter totter. All right, let's fill that wheelbarrow. That a boy, and it's going to be almost four feet deep by the time you're done. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I got a guy like you in my crew. And I felt like I was digging for gold, like a pirate. Thanks, guys. <laughs> We're halfway through day one, and we still have a lot of work to do. So the Giver team is going to divide and conquer. Then we split into two groups. Our group started with a rocket garden. Have any of you guys ever used a reciprocating saw before? Reciprocating saw? No! <laughs> OK, well, this is a great tool for cutting big wood like this. And as you can see, it has a trigger on the end here. And when you pull it a little bit, it goes slow. And when you pull it a lot, <laughs> Who's got their square, Andy? Perfect. And you position the blade so it's on the line. Go slow. There you go. When you hold it, it's heavy. Lots of vibration. 
It tickled. The big one made me shake. and a hammer. <laughs> Adam Climber. We put the playground all together. Screw it on. Yep. We're going to tighten this up with the impact drill, OK? Attaboy. I love using that drill. Attaboy. <laughs> it's, like, really bumpy when, like, when you push. You've done it so that's right. Good job. Now to the bottom one. Good job. One to go. <laughs> it was like vibrating. It was really cool. Rocket garden. Then we use the jigsaw to cut out the fence. All right, Mason, you want to give it a try? OK. Slide right in there behind me. Jigsaw! All right, give it a go. A little faster. wood like into a triangle. I've never used those saws before. I think we found your saw. And when I like let go and stuff, my hand was numb. Can you even feel your hands? No. <laughs> then we sand it. There you go. To the edge. The sander made it nice and smooth. It feels so nice compared to this. Oh, yeah. Can you give it a feel? How is it? It's soft. Good job. And then we put in the atom climber, and it looks really cool, and you can climb on it. The Giver team got so much done today that I thought they deserved a little rocket break. And then we met Professor Atmosphere. Rocket shit! Now, how do you think this rocket goes up? Any guesses? Fire, you got it. This rocket's got an engine in the bottom, and we are going to send it up. Three, two, one. Where did it go? Whoa, it's way up there. That rocket went so high. <laughs> then the Giver team decided to make their own rockets. Bottle rocket. Oh, he's really good. Big fins for a big rocket. Big enough or bigger? Then we painted our rocket ships. And we're going to launch it all tomorrow. Holy smokes. End of day one. And the Giver team is off to a pretty good start. This rocket garden's really coming together. And as you can see, we've got our atom climber going in. And a lot of painting has been done. But we still have a ton of work to do before our grand opening. So I'm going to get back to work now. End of day one. I can't wait for day two. See you tomorrow. Day two. All right, guys, beginning of day two. How are you feeling today? Good. Yeah. OK, good. It's day two, and there's a lot to do on our list. We have to attach the fins to our rockets in the rocket garden. We have to start our space mural. We have to attach handles and install our asteroid climbing wall. And we have to put our astronaut cutout together. But first up is preparing the playground for the soft surface. First, we had to even out the gravel using rakes and a machine called a tamper. Then we mixed and poured the concrete and used trowels and wood to make it smooth. Rocket garden. Give it a push and go slow. Now fast. No. You gotta slow. go no, fast. No, 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 she's doing it right. You just start slow. A little bit more. Oh, Ooh, good one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just leave it there. It's not moving. It's not moving. It's really steady. Good job. It really looks like a rocket now. Space mural. This one's gonna be really big. And what should we make this one? Like the moon? Like a big Saturn. moon? Saturn. Saturn. All right, so we gotta do some rings going around Saturn. I'll do a big jet on the back and put a little window. And I made Jupiter and I made the moon. You think it's gonna look good? Yeah. 
Excellent. I got paint all over me, but it was so much fun. I added a lot of details. You guys are doing a great job. Holy smokes. Climbing wall. And this is where we're going to attach our asteroid climbing handles to. All right, so we can grab onto those and climb up. It's super strong plastic. <laughs> There you go. And you can put them around where you think that they would look good. If this is the hard side, you only get two pieces, three pieces to climb. Okay. We do have holes into the plastic. Lots of pressure. There you go. I'll tell you when it, it's done, OK? Oh, uh, she'll know when it's done. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm a crazy girl! <laughs> yes, you are. There we go. <laughs> and then we um, took off the plastic. It's all staticky. It's staticky. <laughs> And then we installed it on the wall with like these big nails. It's called lag bolts, okay? And then we're gonna drill holes in here and we're gonna screw right into the wood and that'll hold it very securely. So it's a bay hug! Looks like pencil shavings. There you go. Oh, there oh, you go. I did it! Hammer time! Go! Get her! He went stroke! Stroke! You would figure they'd make a better tool for this, eh? Uh, yeah, like a dual bit. How are you doing that so fast? It's these pipes right here. You have to be really strong to do it. Bam! Soft tile. Hi, Garrett team. I'm Dave from Soft Surfaces. And we heard that you guys wanted something soft, something colorful, and this is what we came up with right here, one of these tiles. The soft surface is made out of recycled car tires. Well, see these little legs here? These things are what is going to cushion your fall. And so, that like, you don't break your head open? That's it. So you guys want to help me put in some of these tiles? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Okay. So this is the power auger that we are going to use to drill the holes for our posts for our polycarbonate astronaut look-through thingy, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. And what we need to do is, oh my gosh, oh, you know what, we could probably use some help here. We needed, like, big muscles. Do we have any, like, Football huge players. Football players would be handy. Get your hand over there. Oh, but well, look at that. We got some Hamilton Tarkets. That's right. And guess who we found? Two professional football players to help. We have to drill a pair of holes here, as I was explaining, and this machine is quite heavy. Do you guys want to give it a try? I'll help you out here. You need some muscle, do you? Need some muscle. Cam, you show them what to do. Like really heavy, so they made it a lot lighter for me, and it just looked like I was doing stuff. Meanwhile, they were doing all the work. Oh, perfect! Excellent, guys. All Good. Right. Thanks, Ty Cats. Well right. done. Top. Mm -hmm. Astronaut cut out. So there's our spaceman. So we can cut them right out. This is our guy. <laughs> we spray painted it. And if you put your face in the glass pipe, it looks like you are the astronaut. Okay. Look it, I'll go behind him. Yeah, stick your face in there. Cool. I'm in their neck for sure. <laughs> and then we did the outlining with paint markers. It's the end of day two, and the Giver team has worked extremely hard. As a reward, I thought we'd launch the rockets they built yesterday. We had a contest to see who's went the furthest. Whoa! What? <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling this big one is going to go far. Yep. Oh! <laughs> and it went flying off, and I got soaked. Oh, my God! <laughs> His went out of sight. <laughs> so it actually went over the... 50? 50. Five? Oh, it's going fast. Oh, good one. <laughs> 40. 
It really scared me because I didn't know what was going to happen because it wasn't working. Oh, oh my gosh, the suspense is killing me. Oh. <laughs> Good little tap there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, All right, where are we at? 40, what are we at, 50? All right, almost there. We had to pump and pump and pump to get the rocket to work. Oh, not get one. Oh! oh! oh Where'd it go? <laughs> Whoa! Let's go stand by our rockets. One there, one there. Mine came in last. I don't know how that happened. I declare Mason, by a long margin, the indisputable winner of this challenge. My rocket went the farthest. Let's go! End of day two. End of day two, and we have done a mountain of work. This giver team is really giving her. We've got our atom climber in, and our mural is complete. But before tomorrow's grand opening, we still have to finish the rocket garden. We have to get our teeter-totter in, the soft tile down, and a mountain of painting. So we better get back to it before we run out of time. I'm so excited for the grand opening. See you tomorrow for the grand opening. At the start of day three, we were playing on the atom climber. It's the best! <laughs> All right, guys. Beginning of day three, how you doing today? Good! All right, good, because we need all that energy because we have a lot of stuff to do before our big reveal today. You guys ready? Yeah! Let's go on down here. Let's go! Let's go! Painting. I like painting because you can actually, like, get really dirty. I got to name my rocket Apollo Awesomeness. <laughs> Apollo Awesomeness, I like that. That's a great name. Okay, Tremel, uh, while these guys are gonna finish painting the rocket for us, let's make a stencil so that we can have uh, some sort of image to put on there. A lightning bolt. A lightning bolt, I love it. We could do one lightning bolt on each fin. Two on each fin, one on each side. Oh, okay. that's gonna be cool. Boom. Perfect. Nice, check it out. Atom climber. All right, one last atom climber bolt. This one's still loose here. Can you get that one tightened up? It's better than a regular monkey bar because it's like more complex. There's a lot of stuff to do and you can fit more people on it. Let me feel it. Perfect. Atom climber done. Well done. I hope install the cheetah tire. Gosh, you guys are strong. And we're gonna bolt it on here at the bottom. Let's take a look. All right, you see the holes where we have to line up? I'm gonna move it around gently, and you tell me which way to go. Over this way. That way? How's that? No. A bit more? Yeah. Move it down a bit. Towards this you? Way. Or towards me? So what are we That's doing? That's not even up? close. Not even close. <laughs> it has to be towards this way. Boy, oh boy, you guys are fussy. Down. There. There. All right, good. All right. It was hard to install the tear totter because it was like underneath, and we had to go under it. Kim's falling asleep. It's relaxing. <laughs> I like the sun. <laughs> Me and Kim got to try it out. You guys ready to try it out? Yeah. Yeah. All right, hop on. See what happens. <laughs> Whoa. You sure you did those bolts up tight, right? I was scared that we didn't do it right, so I was scared to go on it after. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha!